All right, guys. So um, while I was downloading the video or uploading the video, however you want to call it, I remembered I, I had four objects and I said to do different object for each one with different material. But if you want to go uh, the same object with the four different materials, that's fine too. So let's see what happens with a different object. No, no. Yeah, let's put, drop in a different object in here. All right. So we're now we're moving on to the graphite. I'm going to go with the uh, rectangular tube right in here. And you can see that the object is a curly one. The spiral one. Anyway, so I got still two more to go. Remember about mapping out the plates. This one's going to have to fit in here, maybe in here. This one can be in here fine. So let's go in here. And the first thing I'm going to think about is going around this top, right? And I'm trying to get a sense of this thing in here, right? And I can build up speed, um, value. And you're going to notice that the graphite is really soft, right? It's, it's weird. It's soft, but it's like uh, hard in a certain way. And I'm thinking about the, I'm looking at the form. I'm seeing the shapes in the form. I'm trying to keep it those, right? And oh my God, I'm going to hit this guy. And that's what happens if you draw over, you draw over, right? And that's part of doing a study sheet. And remember I was talking about, um, oh, whoops, it's in there like that. I remember talking about um, we have a tendency to draw the things the size we see them, right? Oh, and, and then also I wanted to talk about, um, oh, this one's a, turning into a little bit of a strange disaster. Um, anyway, I was talking about setting up your road markers when you're starting a drawing. So the first in these, the road markers are, that's um, the gesture of the object, right? I want to show that it flows in a certain way, right? And I'm picking up on areas of, of oh, how it flows, what I, edges of forms like up in there or movements in here, here down to here. I'm also picking up on maybe a little bit of the value underneath the movement in here, in here, right? And now I go like, okay, I'm making darker marks and that's starting to help settle it down, right? And I don't have to get all the marks, right? In there, all right, now I'm starting to like it a little bit better. Narrow in here big time. This is wants to be way out here. Right out in there. And then that comes there and then down. And then across in here like that. And then back. This is too short in here. That wants to be down lower. Right. And now I lost that guy. Which, if it really matters, I can go back and go in here. But it blurred up. It fudged up. It, oh my God. Smeared. I smeared it up with my hand. So there I am, right? So I'm thinking about the form I see, the flow. Did I get a sense of the flow? Then I'm going to think general in here. Width to height, right? Width to height. Do I have a set of relationships there? And then I can break it down and go like, what's this in relationship to this? What's this in relationship to this? And even go farther, like where's this up into there? Some of it I like, it's just I wish it wasn't so on top of that guy and so big. So the last one's the Conte, right? And let's see how much time's left. Four minutes. Okay. So the last one's the Conte, right? And then let's go with this guy, the teapot. All right? So that'll fit up in here easily. So the teapot, it's like if I'm thinking about general to specific, right? Shapes, general to specific. Also flow, like where's the general top in relationship to the bottom? Where's the sides in relationship to each other? So up in here, and once again, remember I'm talking about that oval, seeing that oval and I'm up in here, right? And I'm drawing that opening at the top and over in here, right? And down in here. And then looking for where the spout comes off of that bad boy. 
right? And then up in here, where's that? The spout is in here. I'm still thinking about where things are in relationship. There's the opening of the spout there. Right? It's almost often there. Narrow in there. There. And then where's this handle? In relationship to the top. And I still have this guy to deal with up in here, right? Oh, and you know, I know you're going to be saying, but Chuck, it smudges. And so that's part of it is learning how to pull off, right? Pull your fingernails off. There we go. I'm liking this one, actually. And then even in here, we could go like this underneath. And then... Okay, not bad, not bad. There we go. So you got compressed, willow, graphite, and conte, right? So let's get four per page. Let's do that four times where you get each material, or what did I say? Three pages. Three times. So you, that gives you a total of one, two, three. No, you got to do it four times because it's got four different materials. So we want to do the same amount. Four pages of that. Okay, so that turns up to be 16 drawings, three minutes. You guys can do that. It's 48 minutes. Keep it loose. Keep this thing. Remember, I'm talking about this. All right, working from the shoulder to the wrist and getting a sense of that flow. All right, I'll see you for the next one because I'm going to switch it up again and keep talking about setting up road markers and thinking about relationships in here. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.